So you've got a candy uh, temple dryer, which is uh, faulty today. Uh, it's not getting warm. So we've had a good look uh, and it's coming up with a fault as well. I think it's an E1 fault. Um, so the first thing I did was take this out, dry it all out because it was all wet inside. Obviously it's not warm enough. Um, I had a look at this, this wasn't full or anything, so we know there's no problems there anyway. So around the back of the machine, um, basically you've got a cover which we've just popped off there, which fits on the back and hides all this section. So this is basically the heating element. Um, so again, you've just got two screws on there. Obviously, if you're going to be messing around with this, make sure the thing's unplugged. Um, so we've taken this off and can see we've got a bit of damage going on here. It's got a bit bit warm at some point and uh, it seems to have uh, popped out. Anyway, um, looked inside, there's loads of stuff which was all hidden down the bottom here. This is so important with tumble dryers, you really need to make sure the things are clean uh, quite regularly and get all the fluff and stuff out. Um, now this was, I'm not going to lie, this was an absolute pig to be able to unclip this. I've had to do it from the front, which I'll do another video of separately um, because you can't get to it from the top. Can't get to it really from underneath, so it's easier to actually do what I did from the front. Anyway, so we've got this out. Um, got a little electrical meter um, on these, looking for continuity. This one's all right. This one's dead either side of this. This is no good anyway. Um, so these are quite cheap to buy to grab another one. Uh, about 35 quid from looking online. So we've ordered another one up and this will get this uh, item working again. But uh, really, to actually try and find the faults on there, you need to you need to have some sort of electrical tester to be able to do it. So this is the tester I use. It's worth picking one up if you're doing any sort of electrical work for you know testing anything, making sure circuits work, uh, making sure you've got power up to lights if you're going to be tampering with lights and you've got the right uh, fuse off and stuff. Uh, anyway, but on here. This is basically when these when you got continuity, you got an audible sound. So we just put that one up there to there, and on there and you can see that's totally dead. So we'll put it on this one. That's all right. Now we're just going to check the element in here as well. So we just follow the uh, this up here. So we got. Um, We've got the blue one there. So, so we pin that in there. Yeah. And it's basically the black one. So we're basically we're testing these two wires. If there's a circuit in here with the element, that you know this is kind of all right. So like I said, you got the, the blue one, which we've got that on there ready. And then this black one will follow it and it goes to this one. So if I pin it on there. So put it on that one. And we put it on that one. So that's good. So we know the element is actually technically all right in there. And really it's just that which is at fault. Um, I've looked online. You can order these up. Um, but to be honest with you, because we've got... We've got some damage in here I'd, I'd just rather just replace the whole lot just to be on the safe side you know um i mean you could argue with that and say you just need to go and get that that'd be fine and it'd be all working but chances are this might fail at some point as well i don't know but um these are 35 quid to get another one anyway so I'd rather just replace the whole unit and then i know it's nice and safe then. And I have seen um, some videos online where this one has got a little uh, reset button, but this one doesn't have that at all. There's no nothing you can do or press to reset that. That is that is it. Same with that one. Nothing on that one. Um, but basically, these are like safety thermostats. 
So basically when the temperature inside here gets way too hot, this will trigger and shut the machine down and um, put a fault on the screen. So that's all it is on these. So now we know what's wrong with the machine, you want to get the part number to order a new new item. So you've got the model number of the machine there, which you'll need, and then the actual number of the machine is here up to about 21, I think. There, that's normally all you need. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, I think it's Ransom Parts that um, I've managed to find it on. Um, but I'll put the link in the description if you need to order one up.